Hello everybody, good morning. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day today. Uh, maybe you saw me unpacking my wheelbarrow yesterday. That was exciting. Um, it was a 15 US dollar wheelbarrow and this was not one for kids, a real one. I can take it to my garden and do my gardening stuff. Excellent. Actually, uh, I looked at it a bit um, more in detail yesterday when I, uh, when I unpacked it. Uh, the only thing I had to do was uh, tighten a few screws and bolts and that was it. And I took it into the garden this morning and performed excellent. So yeah, I'm very, very excited about that. But what I'm even more excited about is what I'm going to show you right now. Um, behind me, because you normally I see my, I start my session of unpacking some of the goodies that they send us uh, in, in, uh, on a table. But this piece of equipment does not fit on a table. Actually, it's a bit bigger than you expect. It's a massive box, okay? So this is a high sense. Let me see if you can see that like that. Okay, it's a company called High Sense. Let me take this one off so you can actually see the brand properly. Um, let's not cut the microphone to cable today. The uh, company is called High Sense, okay? Um, I'm almost sure that it is a Chinese brand, but I actually haven't done that research yet. I just bought this TV because I needed a 50 inch TV to do presentations in the office uh, for our staff and I found this one at an extremely cheap price because I was not looking for any of the other TVs, I was definitely looking for an LED TV and um, one of the, the companies that came out of the test uh, that I found online was Hisense. Actually I didn't research any further because I could get this thing at such a cheap rate. I didn't even, it was to me it was like a no-brainer. Um, cost of this app apparatus right here was 220 US dollars. Yes, you hear correct, it's a 50 inch, believe me. You see this, 50 inch high sense LED TV at 220 US dollars. And um, I have to admit, more and more, <laughs> I get the feeling that I'm getting the, I'm becoming the king of good deals. So I'm not Dutch for nothing. So maybe, maybe that's where it is. Um, seriously, I mean, the thing is I found online, if I go shopping here in the city center, don't get me wrong, I love uh, going to shopping centers and having a little bit of a browse around and stuff. But when I then go and find my stuff online, in general, the prices are pretty much the same. Let's put it this way. And then often, of course, if you buy online, you also have to pay your transport costs. But if you do your research, you can find some damn good deals. I'll be honest with you, this one here in town is double the price. It's nearly 440 US dollars. Uh, in average on the internet, exactly the same price, around 400 US dollars. Then of course you still gotta pay your transport costs and everything. This one was 220 US dollars, including transport. Unbefreaking, really believable. So let's open this one, see if there's a real LED TV inside. Um, okay, I got my knife ready. Let me be careful in this time because I can be a bit rowdy at times, but that's just the excitement. So let me see if I can open this one. Right, it's like it's almost, if it's Christmas almost every single day. Okay, I opened the box. Um, immediately on top, I see a few items. Okay, I think I need my knife again. Um, and of course, this is important for you as well. If you're looking for a similar TV, and of course you want to know what's inside the box. Okay, this looks like a feet, a foot, a uh, footing for the actual TV. Uh, that's, I don't like all this plastic stuff. People here actually leave it. They have a TV that's 10 years old and it's still half wrapped in plastic. I don't like that. Um, let's see, you can take this one out of the package as well. That's the same thing. This is a foot as well. Excellent, take off the plastic and get rid of all this stuff. I'll put my knife aside and see if I can take it out or not. Yes, here we go. The big baby reveals itself. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm excited. Um, yes, I always had large screen TVs, but I never had a 50 inch TV. And I have to admit that Samsung and some of the other brands, I just don't want to mention any of the other brands, but 
some of these type of TVs, 50 inch LED, full LED, still go for around a thousand US dollars and plus. So to, to buy uh, a piece of equipment at this incredible price is just unreal. Okay, let me see if I can lift it out. Okay, I think I need a second person here. Well, that's less easy than I thought. Okay, let's try it this way. You can't lift it out of the top of the box, so, and because I'm alone here today, I have to see if I can wiggle it. Wiggle it out, there we go. Oh, it's massive. Well, of course, put it back. Okay. Hopefully you are here and see me struggling. That's exactly what it should be. Okay, now I got rid of this one. I can, I can take out the rest of the box. There we go. Okay, that was a bit of a struggle. But then again, I think if you would do this at home, um, either have somebody help you. They don't have to be very strong though, but it's just easy for them. This could even be your kid. To, um, to help you out on, well, I'm panting, <laughs> on, um, on actually holding the box. That would just be, be helpful. Um, the footing needs to be put on the bottom here. I see the metal brackets already, um, but let me see if there's anything else inside the box that we need right now. Hold on. There's a whole bunch of materials here. Let's open it up. Of course, that's a uh, that's a user manual. A remote control comes in handy. Then it comes with your cables. In this case, it's a cable for Asia. Okay, the three-pronged uh, tail. Then what I'm missing, though, is and you would expect that uh, on a on a piece of machinery or a piece of kit like this, is a um, HDMI cable. I mean, of course, it's a full LED TV, so you would expect that you run it on HDMI, and it would have been nice if there would have been an HDMI cable. But at this price, I can't complain. HDMI cable, I can go downtown and have one board in a couple of minutes. So that was it. The box is empty, it's gone. So now the key thing is to um, to get the footing, okay, <laughs> to get the footing fixed on the TV, and I'll uh, I'll make another video later tonight when I connect my laptop or or the cable um, system onto my TV and actually show you the quality of the TV. All right, I hope you enjoyed this boxing of the High Sense 50-inch uh, Full HD LED TV. Later in my, because I didn't put in any other information. Well, it says it has 3D. Okay, let me quickly introduce you what, what's on the box here. So it's an LED TV. It says it's full HD uh, 1080 uh, pixels, right? Then it says OSD multi-language, which probably means that there is a, a menu inside which is uh, multilingual. Then there is a 3D combi filter. No idea what that means, but I will test that in the next video. I'll test that out. Then um, ultra dynamic contrast, which probably means there is some presetting so that you can set it for, I don't know if there is a lot of light in your room or if it's not so much light in the room. So it's a daylight setting and an evening setting. Uh, you might even have like, a, like a, a movie setting where the colors become more vibrant or even some of the TVs, they have settings for nature films where the green becomes extremely green, etc. Um, it's USB 2.0, which is nice. So you can actually plug in a USB with your pictures and run your pictures on your TV. And then it's LED. Um, further, it says uh, Hisense is a UNEP. I have no idea what UNEP is, but it's a global corporate partner of UNEP. No idea. I'm sure they're doing their CSR. Um, thanks again. This was this high, uh, high sense 50 inch LHD TV HD at a price, an incredible price of 220 US dollars. Unfreaking believable. Thank you very much for watching. 
take care for now i put some links down there so you can actually find some more information on where i bought it and everything okay take care for now bye bye